you're watching Morning Live. So now to focus our attention on to this, the International Women's Forum or the IW. F is a global organization of prominent women of significant and diverse achievements who've come together across national and international boundaries to share their knowledge and ideas and enrich lives to provide a network of support and exert influence in their communities. Now this morning they'll be hosting women from all over the world at their annual conference themed Africa Rising. Dr. Vuyo Matlati is the president of the IWF in South Africa. She joins us now. Welcome to Morning Live. It's good to have this conference and you guys have got it over the next two days. But what exactly is it going to be challenging? What's the gist of it? Well, thanks so much. I, I think, you know, it's so beautiful to host a conference at such a relevant time in terms of our own country and our continent. And the focus of Africa Rising, which is the theme of the conference, is particularly the area of inclusivity. And the issue is about us ensuring that as Africa changes and grows, there is focus on an inclusive growth. And I'm saying that because it's more relevant in our country as we're facing challenges as far as our economy is concerned. And with the State of the Nation address where the president focused on economic transformation, where we're saying, well, we're looking at establishing a very clear agenda for inclusivity. We speak about the State of the Nation Address. Now, you're also part of the Commission when it comes to the National Development Plan. Do you think they're adequately dealing with those issues of bringing women into those growth industries that you've identified? Well, I mean, w what becomes clear from the diagnostic um, reports that were, came out is that the women are still marginal as far as the, particularly the, the, the drivers of the economy are concerned. In our country, and we commission studies outside in other countries in terms of uh, the, the border sub-Saharan Africa. And we found that is the same issues everywhere. Why is that? Well, I mean, it's, it's a legacy. There are historical issues in terms of what we're grappling with from a patriarchal perspective and the roles that women have, have played you know, in the past. But I think at this point, you know, we, 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 we're going far in terms of ensuring that we have created the platform the past 20 years because part of the conference is a celebration of the advancement in the past 20 years and we have now the policies the legislation that is very progressive and enabling the issue now is how do we ensure that it is being enforced and implemented I mean, how do you go about that? Because we sit in South Africa, we are liberated, we have statutes that help to uphold those freedoms, but often we still see that many people uh, in vulnerable communities are you, they're disenfranchised, despite the fact that we've got everything at their disposal to uplift them. What is then holding women back? You know, I mean... The, 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 the excitement about the initiative that the International Women's Forum, South Africa particularly, is engaged in is that we are now more targeted and focused in the way we intervene. From an advocacy perspective, we're saying we're not just shouting to say, you know, women have to be part. We're saying within this sector, we're sitting at this percentage. We're saying in within the, so for instance, if we take finance, we're showing that they, it shows that many women are in the finance sector, but they are mainly you know, operating at the lower levels of tellers. We're seeing that you know, particularly African women uh, chartered accountants are sitting around 4% of the total. So we're saying we're moving from that, and how do we ensure that as the targets, you know, for instance, the target of 5% by 2019 now is set, we will be increasing. So we look at what do we do ourselves as the women, what do our movements do, but most importantly, what does government do and the private sector and society at large. All right, there's many different stakeholders that you need to be engaging with. So who exactly of your 300, you're going to have 300 delegates there, yeah. but who will be addressing those delegates and uh, what exactly will they be addressing? Exactly because of our targeted approach, we decided to ensure that we take at a macro level as well uh, the bottom-up approaches. So we're having the governors of South Africa, um, Jill Marcus, opening together with the governor of Botswana. And the reason for that is to ensure that the macro policies are being sensitized 
to the issues on the ground on, around the inclusivity and also the accountability in terms of the conversation between ourselves and, 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 and the governors from a macroeconomic perspective. We take it further to look in terms of what instruments from a financial perspective for empowerment are there and what is happening in the different countries, for instance, we're looking at uh, Ghana, we're looking at uh, uh, Malawi, we're looking at um, Nigeria, from a, a, a resource-based industry perspective, where we're seeing you know, the push in commodities central to the rise of Africa from an economic perspective, where are women there? And how do we ensure that the shift from an ethical base it, 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 you know, changes the narrative from corrupt to a very inclusive agenda. All right, it's lovely stuff. You guys have got a very big ideas to be tackling. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Vuya Matlati, who is uh, from uh, the International Women's Forum, and they're starting a, a two-day conference at the Samson Convention Center today, which is going to be including women from not only South Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa, but also from around the world. Stay